revenue management, updating the revenue arrangements. All right, so here we are. Um, this is the first in this list of about 10 videos here. All right. Um, the revenue arrangements and revenue elements can be updated automatically or manually depending on the setting of the accounting preference revenue arrangement update frequency. So let's just quickly go to NetSuite that is under setup, accounting, accounting preferences, general sub tab, scroll down and that's the first option on the advanced revenue management only. I have made a video about this so Feel free to go and look at that one on my YouTube channel. The revenue arrangement update frequency, I've got automatic. I don't see why anybody would want manual. All right. Um, so basically that means that every three hours um, it's going to run an update. All right. Um, Administer privileges used for all updates. If you use multi book, the account book status is ignored. Alright, so let's go to the sweet answer. Um, the revenue arrangements and the revenue, uh, I've done that. Administrator, the following table lists fields for which changes from the source cause updates in the revenue element. Really important. Sources include transactions projects and subscriptions item records are not sources so any changes in an item is not going to affect um, your revenue arrangement at all right so let's see source fields date right item add or remove only change in the source is not permitted quantity so if you're going to change your quantity exchange rate amount got your department class, location, customer segment, all your classifications, or as well as a changing customer. All right, so all of those are basically going to kick off an automatic update every three hours, assuming you are set to automatic. You can update revenue arrangements manually between, auto, between automatic updates or use the revenue arrangements update frequency accounting preference to turn automatic updates. Uh, when you update revenue ranges manually, your subsidiary restrictions automatically determine which revenue elements and arrangements are updated. Your role must include the revenue arrangement permission. I have made a video about permission, so go and check that out. You can use filters for date, range, record type and accounting book to reduce the number of revenue arrangements that are updated. However, you cannot select a single revenue arrangement to update. Okay. So, can I do that? The, sub, the status sub-tab list on the update revenue arrangements and revenue plans page displays all update processes run for the selected date range. Processes displayed include updates for revenue elements, revenue arrangements, actual revenue recognition plans and forecast revenue recognition plans, whether the update was manual or automatic. Processes are run only when eligible sources are identified for the update. If no eligible sources are identified, no processes are run or listed. If you have checked the accounting preference, create and maintain revenue element upon closed order, revenue elements created from closed sales orders or sales order lines are not updated. Each time revenue arrangements and elements are updated, a line is added in the revenue arrangement me message subtab for each revenue element. The value in the process column is auto update. All right, the next section here is around updating the revenue arrangement manually. Okay, so let's see if we can go and get that to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating a sales order. All right, so let's go transactions, sales orders list. And to save a bit of time, I'm, I'm just going to copy the last, no, let's do one of these guys. PLM plumbing. Let's see, make a copy. Let's 
let's call this test ARM video and let's save that whoops let me take a moment that I can do it okay so let's try again um, I've chosen a sales order that's not got a subscription I'm not dealing with subscription at the moment so these are the items that I've been using in my demo to date um, I will show them to you here they are I've made a video with them so we have all these settings so let's do this so let's go and create a copy from here Uh, and we'll call it test manual update two. Right, and that should be all good. Let's go and save that. And then you gotta go now that right. and so uh, let's also just go and fulfill the fulfillment and then we'll go transactions financial and we'll go and update Fresh. There we can see their aligned process. Oh, refresh again. I hope the music down from the street is not too irritating today. It's quite nice actually from where I'm sitting, to be honest. Fresh. Oh, it's completed zero errors. I'll pause for a second there. Yeah. And there you can see now. It says lines to process. I'll just go and refresh again. Still says initializing. Oh, and I do have an error, but for that one I'll have zero errors. Right, I was too I was too hasty. I was clicking too much. I needed to give it a moment, so I'm gonna pause and give it some time. Okay, so that is processes have finished processing. Some of them are fine, as you can see there. Some of them have errors. I've had a look at the error. Um, and I can see I have a problem with dates. So let's go and look at one of the transactions. You see not enough accounting periods. So let's go and open this and have a quick look. Oh, well, I can see this end date. That is definitely going to be a problem because I don't have periods set up for those dates. I think my periods go up to 2025. So let's see if we change um, this date to something not completely crazy maybe 2022 and I wonder if that's going to do the job let's see save oh, didn't like that alright so I've traced it back here to this cash sale year all right and so let's just see if i change that if this is going to do the job uh, let's see. Uh, 
and so let's now go I'll pause again for a second.